Hey Church of the Rock Audio Techs, Isaac here. Just want to make a little video how to help better explain how to use the uh, rap mics we use for the pastors when they come to your campuses to preach. And I know some people have had problems with crackling or the not working properly, so hopefully I can uh, clear up uh, what to do in those cases. So, most of you will have something that looks a little like this. You've got a Mogan case, the rap mic, and they have these um, Mogan uh, microphones and, and the cable. Um, there's a few different versions of the Sennheiser packs, but this is the main one. It pinches open, of course, and turns on. Biggest problem people are having is sometimes these cables will go bad and crackle, and people don't understand what exactly is happening. People have asked me for replacement uh, microphones, but the microphones themselves very rarely die. Uh, it's almost um, like 99% of the time, if your mic is not working or you're crackling, it's going to be this cable. These cables are a little bit prone to damage, especially this one. You can maybe can't see it on the, on the camera, but it's uh, got a kinked looking area. There's a discoloration in the heat shrink. And uh, so uh, this one has been at some point gotten bent. Someone bent this way too far at some point, maybe in the casing or the packaging. And um, Sure enough, I was testing this one, and this is exactly where it's crackling. So these cables are thinner. That's going to be a, a, definitely a strain point. And so, first of all, do your best not to have these get all bent and kinked really hard. Um, that's definitely going to wreck them. But that's what you want things you want to check for. So first of all, what I'd say is when you start have a pastor preaching, long before they get there, during your, your sound check, or, or not, maybe not your sound check, but during your rehearsal at some point, um, take your pack, take your mic, Plug them in together. So, of course, if you remember, this is a uh, these screw in here. Pop them out. They pop in like a headphone, and then they screw down. First thing I would do is make sure that's good and tight. Make sure that's in properly. Then go back to the headphone it, or the uh, the mic itself. This is a screw on as well, and just make sure that's screwed on good and tight. And then just using this yourself, I'd hold it roughly where it's going to fit on the pastor. Don't necessarily put it right on your ear. Just hold it roughly there. And then do your, your sound check as you would for, let's say, the pastor's handheld mic. You would, you know, cue the channel, start talking, make sure the gain is going to be at a, at a good level, especially uh, maybe talk loud a couple times, make sure it's not going to peak or, or distort if they get too loud. And then at that point, right away, start jiggling the cable a bit, see if it crackles, jiggle both sides, especially towards the ends. Some of you have this on the mixing board itself, on the surface, and you can wiggle and jiggle this end while you talk into it. And... Um, if you have crackling at that point, what you need to do is switch out this cable. That's um, almost, again, 100% of the time going to be your problem. And I have included a spare cable in most of your campuses, uh, little mic bags. So if there isn't one, you need to let me know so I can give you guys a spare cable. But the way to do that is, I'll just show you this end first. Again, you just unscrew this from the pack, pop this out. And then on the mic itself, you can leave this hanging loose, make sure it's already unplugged. And then you can just spin this off and it's now separated. What you want to do also is take off the um, clip for the collar. And this is now a bad cable. Mark this, like wrap it together, put a bit of tape around it or something. Let me know that it's bad. And then there should be a spare cable in your little Mogan bag. Whoop, and it fell out on me. And then just put it back. So in the reverse order. So just take this one and screw it back onto here. And make sure you get some of that tension out of it that was spinning there. And if there was um, knots like this one has, you can make sure those are out of there. There we go. Then you want to put the clip back on for the collar. It's roughly about that distance, but you have to adjust it on each pastor anyway. But you can start there, roughly a foot, I guess, maybe a bit less. And that one you have to just kind of push onto the clip, and then that's, that's on there. And then plug it back into the, the pack, tighten it back down, double check the tensions out of there, and then retest it. Now go back to your mixing board, hold it to your face, check it, wiggle the cables, make sure it doesn't crackle at this point. And that should solve your problem 99% of the time if you're having a crackle on these mics. And then of course, let me know the cable's bad, let me know you need a spare. Um, that should be good. Another question you might have is exactly how do you put these on? And this is a little bit hard to do myself, but I'll try to show you. <clears throat> anyway, this part goes over the top of the ear, and then this part actually goes behind the ear lobe. It does not go around the front of the ear lobe. That'll pinch the ear far too much. This goes behind the lobe. So I'll try to show you that now. This goes over the top here, and then behind the lobe there. 
Hopefully you guys can see that clearly. This comes under the lobe. And then positioning wise, I can't really see it here, but it should be not directly in line with the mouth because then you'll get popping sounds. You want it just a little lower than that, kind of the crease of the chin here. So I think that's roughly close. I can't quite tell because I can't see it, but I think it's roughly right about there. You want it close to the face, but not touching any bristles or whiskers. That's also why it has this little rubber thing to help you keep it off of the whiskers. And that should be good to go. Then this would go around the back. You, this would, they would quite often toss this down their clothes. And then this goes on the back of the collar. You clip that on. In this case, it probably is too short because you don't want it to be tense when they turn their head to the left. So you get them to turn their head both ways. And that one is a bit tense. It's uh, pulling a bit. So then you just give it a bit more length. And there you go. Hopefully you guys can see that. So that is the wrap mics, how to put them on, how to check for a bad cable. If you've changed the cable and you still have a crackling, you might have a bigger problem. It might be um, a wireless interference frequency uh, or a cable somewhere else coming out after the mic receiver perhaps, but it's a greater problem than just the cable. In that case, you would have to call somebody and get, get further help. But this will solve your problem the vast majority of the time. So always try this first. Okay, thank you guys. God bless.